Everyone cares about the way their car shimmers in the sunlight. Picking a car color can be a very definitive decision, ultimate personal expression. When it comes to car customization, the options are pretty much endless. Enter the house of color. I've heard of the House of Rock, but the House of Color is something new to me. Well, you know, that name, I, I just kind of picked it out of the air many years ago because I thought it fit all the things we were doing. We were trying to develop new and brilliant colors compared to the other paint companies. And I started researching how they made their paints, and they use a lot of oxides, which are cheap Mother Earth type of pigments, which were the beginning of paints, actually. But then I found out about the organics, which were man-made, much cleaner and better and brighter, and of course, 10 times more expensive because the big guys will use a little bit of iron oxide with the organic to make a color. Because if they put a little bit of, of, of the uh, iron oxide in, they can take about four or 5% of the real good organic out and they can build the paint a little bit cheaper, but it's got a little bit of a muddy look to it, a little bit of a dirty look. And I thought, what kind of paint could you build if you didn't care about the price and you just used all organic? I was the first company to do that. Yeah, and the colors definitely pop. I mean, you look at this wall, it's a little bit crazy, actually. It's, it's more colorful than the rainbow. This is only a percentage of what we do. It's a very small percentage of what we do. We're, we're showing the basics, and any innovative painter can take a pure organic pigment. When we make a color, we don't make two or three pigments in there. We just use one. One pure inorganic or organic pigment. So you take that, and you can become a mixer. <laughs> Is it just for cars and, and bikes and whatnot, or can you use these paints for other things? Because looking around this booth, I'm seeing a few other things that have got some custom work done on them. That's exactly what we're trying to show, is that these products work in so many areas. We've got a drum set in there, we've got guitars, we've got uh, instruments, we've got, a, I think there's a bass in there that's painted. Uh, we're doing refrigerators, we're painting go-karts, we're doing, I mean, you name it. Now here we, uh, we took a, a Chevrolet small block engine, and made a grill. We used our high heat base paint, so it'll handle temperatures up to 1600 degrees, and you can actually grill with this thing. But what's crazy is people come up to me all the time and say, what color should I paint my car? And I have to look at them and say, wait a minute, it's not my car. Why are you asking a question like that? When you walk around this show and you're looking at all these beautiful cars, which color stops your heart? Which one is the one that makes you say, yeah, you know, because that's the direction we're going to take. Now you tell me you like that orange or you like that red or you like that blue, I know which direction to start moving in to help you make a decision. But without having that basic knowledge, I can't put in your head what, I mean, I can put in my head what's going to work on the car. But I it's, it's personal taste. That's the whole thing. It's all, all about personal taste.